welcome to the Knit Tea Retreat. It's Stratford. Stratford 2019. We're going to be in there. It's the Alveston Manor. It's lush and it's it is beautiful. gorgeous weather. It's beautiful. Proper lovely. And Shakespeare's over there and everything. Yeah, we've got a statue of Bill. Yeah. So it's the Friday late afternoon and we've got the just the Friday event. It's another sit and knit, but with nibbles and cake and things like that. Always cake. Mm. So we're going to head in and get set up and then knit ostentatiously in the lobby so everyone can find us. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, prep has felt a bit weird for this one because there's no workshops. We kept panicking that we'd forgotten to do a lot of things, but it's just because yeah, there's, there's less. Better. And also because we've done it before. Yes. We've um, we've got templates and we've, we've got processes. Just, we've just we've done it before, so it's always quicker the next time, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be good. And look, she's got her party lipstick on. I've got my party shoes on, but you can't see them, but they're gold. Um, yeah, and it's going to be really good. So I think we should probably head in with the cake. With the cake. And um, when we were driving in, there was a sign on the car park that said no deliveries. And I said to Jenny, oh. <laughs> and Jenny said, no, it's okay. We're an event. And you're not wrong. All on our own. All on our own. We just the it. two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's get the cake and head in. Hurrah. So this is our Friday night room. And we've got windows onto the garden. We've got Jenny Powell. How fancy is this? Our own little room. And I think they're gonna put us food on the back table when we get there. And through there is the rest of the dining room. And yeah, we're so lucky with the weather. Absolutely stunning. I thought I'd give you a little walkthrough from our Friday night room, all the way back to the desk, because I'm on a mission to buy Jenny a white wine spritzer. And it really is an absolutely beautiful hotel. And now that the weather has cooled down a fraction, it's a beautiful evening. And everywhere you turn, there's little nooks with sofas and armchairs. And there's a stunning garden as well. And the room we're in tomorrow has French doors that open out onto the garden. I did record this previously, or at least I thought I did, but I'd actually forgotten to press the start button, so I felt like a complete prat. So this is take two. So that's the room that we're going to be in tomorrow, the cedar room. And you've got stained glass, look. And that's the staircase to some of the rooms. And this is just another little area where you can sit and have a cup of tea. And they've got beautiful panelling on the walls. And great big squishy sofas. Look at that fireplace. And lovely tiles. I've spotted some knitters that don't want to be in my podcast, but they're heading to the bar, so I'm going to chase them down. <laughs> and then this is another little lounge area. And look at the windows, aren't they beautiful? Proper wing back armchairs and more panelling. And they like this fireplace over the winter, and you can sit on that little cushioned bench around the side. And it's lovely. And there you have it more knitters buying wine. There we go. Well, it's <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody wave! <laughs> I'll put music over it, it's fine. <laughs> about quarter past six in the morning and I'm just outside on mum's balcony having a cheeky cup of tea. I've made some sandwiches and when it gets to half six I'm going to go and wake Jenny up. She's in that room just over there so she might hear me and wake up. And can you hear the birds? Oh, it's beautiful. My, my parents live in Stratford-on-Avon which is the same place as the retreat is being held so we're staying with them which is very kind of them to have it as and she has a beautiful garden look at all the clematis so a peaceful start i've got to iron my trousers and my top we've got to load the car and then head back to the alvester manor for day one we had a lovely evening yesterday it was really nice not everybody came to the evening so there'll be some more new faces today but the weather's going to be gorgeous and it's going to be a really 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 good day Right, we are set up and ready to go. So I thought I'd give you the before shot. Mr. Pins, Mr. Pins, wave. It's absolutely lovely that we're at an event where Dave is known as Zoe's husband because I spend my life being called Dave's wife. And look, we've got our bunting up. And we've got our admin table. Wave. Hi. Super early keen knitters. Lots of people are staying in the hotel, so they were wandering past going, ooh. And yet again, Olwyn Davis Table Centrepieces Limited has knocked it out of the park. Look at these. I've no idea what sort of flowers they are. What are these little ones, Mum? Verbena. Verbena. Verbena and the trumpets? Petunias. Petunias. And look, with fancy string and everything. Thanks, Mum. And it's going to be an absolute scorcher, so we've got all the doors and windows open. And we've got the cake set up. We might have over catered for cake, because there might be more cake under the tables. And I had a nice word with the hotel and I said, could I please have some cake knives? And they have one cake knife in the whole building, and that's it. So um, I think it's a fight to the death for the cake knife. But other than that, we are set up and ready to go with nearly an hour to spare. Right, so I'm sitting and knitting with Jenny. Actually knitting. Which is very unusual for us, because we don't normally get the chance. Yeah. What are you knitting? Knitting a dandelion um, cardigan which you can't tell because it's a sleeve. Yeah. But it's JC Rennie Super Soft Full Pie and it's gorgeous. And you bought it from Edinburgh? I did. Which from purchase... <laughs> in the last, last three minutes or so of the time we were at the show. From purchase to cast on in record time, I'd say. Well, yeah. It hasn't been allowed to mature very much. No, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's an everyday cardigan rather than just a special event. And you're keeping it in your Elder McCraft bag yes. by the lovely Emma. And a little further down the table. Hi, yeah. Look who I found! It's the yard ambassador! I'm knitting. And what are you knitting? I'm knitting the shift cowl. Andrea Maori. Maori. And what's your yarn? Um, it's surprise yarn. Not very short, but it's Silk and Wensleydale hand spun. Lovely. And this is a mystery yarn from America, from a fibre chair, I did. Excellent. From a farm. It's definitely some kind of a farm. Definitely farm yarn. And let's have a look at your your things oh nice I could just be a pair of knickers um, so far <laughs> it might just yeah I yeah knitted thongs why wouldn't you mm, lovely excellent and then we've got Louise show us what you've got oh crochet shawl lovely 
That's going to be huge when you've blocked it. Really nice. And you've got some of... Oh, there's some of Jenny's yarn just down there. Because everyone's bought like six projects. Yeah, we're worrying that we're not going to have enough knitting. Oh, I'm trying to do this smoothly. And we've got Ruth. What are you knitting? I feel like Silla Black. What's your name and where'd you come sock? from? <laughs> made up sock out of some... Made up sock. Canadian yarn. Okay. Mysterious Canadian yarn. Everyone's knitting with mystery yarn. It's lovely though. Is it still a four ply? Yes, it's quite thick. I was going to say, it's nice chubby four ply yes. that. The first sock is over there somewhere. And we retrieve it at some point. And you're nearly done. I hope you've got another project. I've a finished object this morning. And then we've got Louisa. Hello, Louisa. What are you making? Am I allowed to show what you're making? Yes, you are. Yeah. Good. So this is a test knit for Jessica, somebody. <laughs> Good. Um, nice plug. Yes, yeah, so it's a test knit. It's based on Lilo and Stitch, so it's called Ohana. Oh, fab. Um, it's very exciting. In Loveliest Yarn Company Yarns. Oh, lovely Michelle of Chips Loveliest Yarn. Excellent. Oh, that's looking really good. So we're waiting for the arrival of my husband. With bated breath. Mr. Pins. Eagerly anticipated. Because spot Mr. Pins is the final square on many people's knitting bingo cards. And he's late. And any minute now, he's going to come through that door and Charlie is going to absolutely explode out of her chair, <laughs> shriek house and claim a prize. <laughs> But yeah, he's a, he's a bit behind schedule, but nobody will ever have been this pleased to see him. Not even Jim the dog, I think, will be as pleased to see him. We debated whether we should warn him, didn't we? Yeah, no, I think we go for the element of surprise. <laughs> when you have ten women... Think, House! <laughs> House! <laughs> so, before the hordes descend, this is... That was, that was Ruth's crotch, by the way. And this is our bring and take table. So for anyone that's not familiar, people that come to the retreat go through their stash and they pick out any sorts of crafty bits and pieces that they no longer fancy or they're just not going to get around to using and they bring them with them. And we pile everything up on this table. Everybody gets a raffle ticket and you take it out in turns to come up and choose what you'd like. And yet again, people have been hugely generous. Look, we've got Zauber balls. We've got beautiful minis, super sparkly. We've got lace. What else have we got? Ooh, we've got West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece Wensleydale. Sparkle Duck, who sadly is no longer with us. We've got Hey J. We've got Truly Hooked paper stories I've not heard of, dusty dimples, proper German sock yarn, and then sort of packs, oh drops Alaska that would be good for mittens and things like that, got some lovely sublime merino, some cotton yarn, some lovely books, so I think everyone's had a pretty good rummage. And in a minute, when everyone's back after lunch, we'll take it in turns to have a go. Okay, so we are down in Bancroft Gardens at the Canal Basin. Here's all my lovely knitters. And there's the Countess of Eversham and Jenny's enormous head. So that's our dinner barge. And if I can pan back round without making anybody feel unwell. There's Jeanette and Charlie looking very serious. Oh, lovely Emma. Mr. Pins. And look who we bought. Jim the dog. Hey, Jim. Jim is very happy. And so that's the Royal Shakespeare Theatre at the back. And then there's Stratford Town Centre. 
as it is. So we are getting ready to board the Countess of Evesham. morning of day two and we have been rearranging the room ready for this afternoon's marketplace and this is where we've got to haven't quite finished yet but we've still got our sit and knit area over there and then we've got Suffolk socks setting up at the back give me a wave Suffolk socks hello, hello and lovely Emma retreater slash glamorous stand assistant Love the culottes, by the way. Those are fabulous. Thank you very much. They're very comfy. And I'll do a proper sweep round of all the stands so you can see. But there's just a little teaser of Suffolk socks. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and there is the owl itself. <laughs> diligently arranging, God lover. Yeah, feathering its nest. <laughs> and there's Car Trev. I left my sign back at Mum's house. But Dave's going to bring it down in a minute when he comes for a coffee. We've got Jenny's lovely scarf look and hat with the pom. Yeah. So we've got about half an hour till all the rest of the attendees turn up. Oh, last day of the retreat. Okay, most of the stands are set up. So I thought I'd give you a quick look before all the people dash in and rearrange everything. So this is Aisha of Dusty Dimples and she has bought some absolutely beautiful yarns with her and look at the logo, isn't that pretty? So it's a lovely mixture of pastels and then some brights. And this stand belongs to Anna, and this is Stitch Solihull, which is a, a Midlands local yarn sh store up in Solihull. And has some fun coasters and mugs. We've got Zauber balls, some really fun notelets. Ooh, sparkly Lang yarns. Higher, higher notions, little stitch markers. This is our car trev stand. Finally got it finished and set up. And I remembered to bring my little tension square so people can have a cheeky knit. And I've got the other tension squares there. And Jenny did this nice crochet one. 
and look at that beautiful shawl finished item. The lady that did that has come to the retreat and very kindly let me hang it up there for the marketplace. That is the Owl About Yarn Stand. Look at the fabulousness. So this is Jenny's new Tweedy base. That sold really well at Wonderwall. And some sparkles down the bottom. These are her luxury base. And this has got yak and silk in it. Loads of four ply. And then this side we've got some DK. And fibre to spin. And a lovely selection of bags. And then these are some mini sets. And this is the yarn that we put in the goodie bags for our attendees. And with one of those, you can knit up this beautiful sock pattern. The name of which I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. And soon this will be up on Ravelry to buy. But that's the free pattern that went in the retreat brochure for all the attendees. And then this lovely stand is Julie's stand. Julie is Suffolk Socks and she is also the dyer behind the yarn tart. And she has bought some of her lovely patterns and samples. And she's also got the most beautiful handmade bags. Look, felt bags with hand embellishment. And a little applique house. And her daughter is an illustrator. And she's bought some of these prints. Some more beautiful project bags. And then this is some of her hand dyed yarn. She does also have lots of sock patterns. And so she's knit up some of her socks and her yarn. So if anyone's interested, follow the links below. And she's got more bags over there on the windowsill. Right, so this is the Lay family yarns. And that is Kelly and Mr. Kelly, who probably has a name, but I've forgotten. Nick. Nick, excellent. And just look how much yarn she's managed to cram onto this table. Beautiful sock sets. Oh, mini skeins. Look at the colours in those. Absolutely stunning. She does such beautiful, subtle colours. And somewhere... Where's the one you dyed up? This is the one. She very cleverly dyed up this colourway. And it's called Friends Who Knit Together. And she dyed this up especially for the retreat. I'm not sure how much she's got or if it will go into regular rotation, but she's got some on four ply and also some in floof. There we are, look. Oh, it's Suri Alpaca and Silk. That is beautiful. Mini skein sets. Now that was what I was going to buy until I knew about the retreat yarn and now I might have to buy both. But I need some for blankets. And a lovely minty color. Oh, what's that one? Enchanted wood lovely and then this is flourish fibers now fee came on our retreat so it's lovely to have people here and she does natural dyeing as well as acid dyes so you get the most beautiful colors oh gosh what's that dyed with peach perfect naturally dyed thrive and these beautiful twigs that she's knitted little leaves for. Can you see? How fun are they? Oh, and she's got some kid mohair and silk. Some lovely wildflowers to go with it as well. And then our final vendor is the fabulous Joan Itso. So she's got a grid wall of gorgeousness over here, which given that she only returned from a family camping holiday 24 hours ago, is quite an achievement. It's really nice to see some solids actually. If you want to pair speckly tonal yarns for a shawl or socks, those would be a really good buy. Plenty of sparkle. 
She also sews, as I mentioned in our posts before. So she's got these beautiful bags and big girl pants. These are fantastic, just the funkiest prints. And I've heard from customers' very mouths that they are the most comfortable pants in the world. So if you're in need of some fun pants and you think grown-ups never get the good underwear, do go and find Jo. So as I mentioned, I will leave links to everybody's websites or Etsy shops down below. And I think that's a pretty good marketplace. <laughs> and all our retreat attendees are busting to dive in and buy something. And it will be open to the public as well. And we've still got our attendees here. I'm making them all eat a bit more cake. Retreat. Our second retreat, our first in Stratford, and we're just having a quiet five minutes under a tree. In the nice fresh air, cool air breeze. All the attendees have gone, all the vendors have gone, the party bus is packed to the gunnels with leftover cake. <laughs> we might have overcaked. Slightly. We sent a lot of people <laughs> home with cake. <laughs> Would you like a cake? Would you like? We've probably still got some. <laughs> And I think we can say it was a success. Yes. Everybody said such complimentary things. And what stuck Everybody out... Everybody was just happy. Everyone, yeah, that's what stuck out for me. Is yeah. It almost wasn't about knitting, in a way. It was people finding their people and making friends. And we had people come by themselves who were worried, mm. who left with 10 new friends and... Yeah. yeah. It was really good. And people gave us presents. Oh, I know. You're um, naughty. And I said naughty. Them, we love you. You do know that you, you are naughty. Yeah. You paid us to come here. <laughs> That's not usually how this works. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it in Tesco. Maybe I'll you should. I'll take a jar of jam next time. Yeah. But yes, thank you to everyone who it's gave a very us nice treats. Out, lady. We had bags and cards and biscuits and just it was lovely. So and thank a you. Special insulated lunchbox for our GNT. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lay by picnic gin receptacle not laid by picnic that's irresponsible well not if i'm in the passenger seat it's not anyway that's not fair no present post setup gin to post setup gin and tonic so yes lots of people were hoping to come back next time we are making next year's summer retreat a little different squidgy bit squidgy bit <laughs> but we're not going to tell you about that yet nope and we now have it's eyes a, to dot and T's to cross. I have a big list with after <laughs> written at the top. <laughs> there was only so much we could process. And so anytime either of us thought of anything that needed doing that wasn't for the retreat right now, it just went on the massive after list. Yeah. So yeah. I There's filled quite a lot. I filled an A5 page in my notebook with double columns. <laughs> some of which had amendments and additions. <laughs> So that's what we're doing next week, I think. Oh dear, she doesn't like me to sit still. No, she causes trouble when she's bored. <laughs> I cause trouble. <laughs> Leave you alone for two minutes. Oh. So yes, a quiet five minutes, and then we're going to go and say thank you to the hotel staff yeah. and our official special recommendation person recommendation. from the hotel was lovely martin who i don't suppose for a minute will ever see this but martin was amazing if any of you know martin who works at the alveston manor then tell him he's chuffing fab total legend yeah and when we email the hotel next week to say thank you we will tell them special mention in dispatches for martin definitely sterling services to beverages a special request for next time yeah, yeah. so yes cheeky five minutes <laughs> and then back to Cardiff, and then back to Barry Island, and then tomorrow's Monday. 
Yeah, back to reality with a thud. <laughs> yeah, our woolly world is over for another few months, not long till October. If any of you have exam mojo to send to my son. Or my son, double it. In fact, well, my younger son's got them as well, but my older son's got A-levels, which is the ones you take before you leave school. So, uh, yeah, mojo, mojo. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching along with the vlog. Um, I can't remember what I've recorded. <laughs> Hopefully there's something. I can just remember Charlie going, house! Yes, <laughs> she's always good value. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you soon, but not too soon because we're really, really tired now. I'm gonna nag her to record a proper podcast. Can I have a week off? Mm, maybe. You can think about your next podcast. I'll do show notes. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. It's good night from her. It's good night from me. I'll see you soon. Bye.